Good evening. Welcome to Jam Time. This is Pastor Lisa, and tonight we begin our Advent journey. And just a reminder, Advent are the four weeks before Christmas. And so we spend those times not just, you know, doing all our fun Christmas stuff. We also have fun um, on an Advent journey, and that is to prepare our hearts for the birth of Jesus Christ. This year, our Advent theme is Light Shines in the Darkness, and tonight we're going to focus on God is Light. So I'm going to read from Genesis, remember the first book of the Bible, Genesis 1, 1 through 3. In the beginning, when God created the universe, the earth was formless and desolate. The raging ocean that covered everything was engulfed in total darkness, and the Spirit of God was moving over the water. And then God commanded, let there be light, and light appeared. So God created the light, and then created the sun, and the moon, and the stars, so that we would have light. When I think about the sun, have you ever stood outside on a sunny day, which I know you have? It can be really warm. The sun provides us with, with warmth. And to me, that also feels like God shining God's warmth of, on our lives so that we can feel in that warmth we can feel the presence of God's love and just to feel God's presence in our lives now sometimes um, like the past couple of days we haven't been able to see the Sun very much and sometimes we don't see the Sun at all but that doesn't mean that the Sun's not out there it still is and it reminds us sometimes in our lives we can't feel that we feel like God's not around us. We can't sense God's presence. But that doesn't mean that God's not with us because God is with us always. I'd like to read one more verse and it's from Genesis 15, 5. God took Abraham outside and said, look at the sky and try to count the stars and you will have as many descendants as that. So I'm going to show you my Lego star okay and just think about looking up in the sky and seeing all those stars I don't know some nights you look up and you barely see any stars and some nights you just see a ton of stars so here's my Lego star and it was a little bit of a challenge to make but um, you can go online and get the um, instructions and see what you can do with it um, but Abraham believed God and his children believe God, and, and their children believe God, and their children believe God, and on and on to you and I. And we believe in God. And so we are to shine brightly in the sky, like the stars in the sky. And we shine brightly when we share love and kindness, and when we're nice, when we're, we treat everybody fairly and equally, um, when we try to do our best and put forth our best effort, and when we help others. So this week, do something good and positive to shine God's light in the world. So um, I have a picture for you, and I hope you can see it. It's of the Big Dipper. So the Big Dipper is one of the constellations in the star in the sky. So we see the stars, and sometimes they just look like a jumble of stars up there. But over the years, um, astronomers have looked at the stars and have found different pictures of the star of things in the stars and so um, if you ever uh, take an astronomy class or do look at the constellations you'll see so this is one of them and it's called the Big Dipper and sometimes depending on the time of the year you see it in different ways up in the sky so and some will say because this is the dipper you know this is like a cup and that's like you know the handle and that's how it got its name the Big Dipper according to the Native American legend the Big Dipper bowl is a bear. I have, there's a picture of a bear right here. I don't know if you can see, but it's a bear. So this, these four represent the bear. And um, these are the three hunters trying to capture the bear. Or another in, interpretation of the Native Americans is that the handle represents um, the three cubs. And these are three little bear cubs that are following their mama bear. So it could be either one. Um, and there's each culture, um, different countries have different interpretations of what the Little Dipper stands for. So next time you're outside in the sky, look up and see if you can find the Big Dipper and remind uh, and so that you can and remember that we are to
to shine brightly like the stars and to live out our faith. So let us pray. Dear God, thank you for light, for the warmth of the sun and your love on our lives. Help us to share your love with others and to shine brightly. Amen. Thanks. Have a good night.